Hi and welcome to DigiTalks by PGS Software. We're here in Frankfurt at Digital Twins 2019. It's the biggest conference in Europe about this technology. And we've heard some great speakers here today, one of which I'm standing here now. Could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, thank you very much. My name is Benedict Latos. Uh, honored to be here. Um, I'm working at the Institute of Industrial Engineering and Ergonomics of RWTH Aachen University, a big technical university uh, here back in Germany. And I'm working in the field of work organization with Professor Mützenivel. You're working on um, production simulation, I believe. Uh, can you tell us um, a little bit about that? Wh where are the biggest issues here that you see in, in the production and um, how can that be solved? Yeah, sure. Well, in the end, it's always people working in processes. So if we apply these digital techniques to simulate and to come up with digital twins, it's always, from my point of view, about acceptance of these solutions. So that's why we prefer participatory um, uh, design processes when we build up such systems. The second point is data. Of course, all models are based on data. This is why we need good data. Or we need people which are capable of um, of making good assumptions and also of being able to interpret the results in, in, term, in terms of critically reviewing them if it's plausible or not. How can Digital Twin benefit this process? Um, where do you see the biggest opportunities? Yes, well, in, in the past it was always about um, gathering historical data, to be honest. We had databases uh, and captured data for, for several months, years, whatever. And in the future, with the digital twin concept, because we're embedding sensors, may it be barcodes, may it be uh, Bluetooth sensors, um, factory GPS, whatever, um, we'll be gathering the data in real time and we'll also be able to trigger actions in our processes in real time. So we're going um, or making big advancements on, on that point because we're now automatically gathering and analyzing data in real time and we do not have to take uh, a, a look at really, really big databases um, which are historically um, evolving. Where do you see this process in the near future, let's say? five years from now? Well, to be honest, um, my field is of course uh, production simulation, but as far as I see it, you know, is a really wide range of applications. So on the one hand, I know of examples of hospitals um, back in Ireland and Dublin using digital twins to optimize the processes within hospitals, um, within the nursery. Um, we know of simulation, for example, for stadium evacuation, um, simulation of traffic, of logistics, of production. Um, it's a really wide field. And because it's basically based on, on process times, in fact, it doesn't matter which process it is, these techniques can widely be applied.